So time to continue with this application and time to work on the fact that currently every user is able to check out, but I want to restrict that to locked in users only. So that certainly is something I'll work on next. A quick and easy way in Laravel to make sure that only locked in users can reach the checkout page, of course, is to go to the routes file. Then here we have this checkout route and then add a middleware to it, add the off middleware. Remember, we're already using the off middleware at the user routes here. For example, here where we want to protect the profile and the logout route. So here I'm also protecting slash checkout and I'll also protect the post route so that no user is able to somehow issue a post checkout request through the terminal or something like that. However, if I do it like this and while well, I reload this page, I'm redirected. So I can go to the shopping cart, click checkout and I'm redirected to the sign in page, which is great, which is what I want. But if I do a sign in here, I'm taken to the user profile, so then again I have to click on shopping cart before I can actually go to the checkout page. If I click log out, well I'm redirected, but it would be nice if after signing in, I would automatically be sent to the checkout page if that is where I wanted to go. So that this sign in is not actually redirecting me somewhere else thereafter. It would also be nice if I had some kind of don't have an account yet, sign up link at the bottom and then again be redirected to the checkout page after signing up. So a bit of more user friendly process in this place here. So I'll first add the link here, which is pretty easy. I'll go to my sign in page here, this one. And below the form, I'm adding the text I just said, don't have an account. And then simply a link which says sign up instead or something like that. And here, of course, this link should point to my sign up route, which is a user. I'll have to look it up to be honest, user, user dot sign up. Well, that was easy. So here, whoops, here I'll just link to that page. So now I at least have the possibility of going to the sign up page instead, but still I don't have the chance of, or I don't get redirected to the checkout page after doing so. So in order to implement that, I'll need to go to my middleware file, which I can find in the middleware folder. And here the authenticate middleware is the middleware responsible for protecting my routes here and redirecting me. And here I'm setting up that I want to get redirected to user sign in. And that is of course the correct behavior because I want to redirect to the sign in page if the user is not logged in. But I also want to store the URL the user tried to access previously to signing in. So here I will store this in my session, put, and I'll just name it old URL. Of course you name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to retrieve the old URL on my request where I have this URL method, which just gives me the URL the user wanted to access. So with that, I'm making sure that I will actually not redirect the user instantly, but before doing so, I will at least store which URL he wanted to access. And I can also do it in here because it's not relevant for the Ajax case. So with that, I'm making sure that I at least have that URL. The next step, of course, is to use that. And the place to implement this is the user controller. Here in the post sign in method, for example, I'm handling the case that the user well is successfully logged in. And here is the place where I always redirect to the user profile, which is okay for a normal sign in process. But if I wanted to go to the checkout page, then I don't want to redirect there. Instead, I want to redirect to the old URL, right? Therefore, in this auth attempt check here, where I will check if the user was successfully logged in, I'll add another if block inside of it, where I just check if my session has this old URL uh, field. Because if it doesn't have this field, well, then I'm coming from somewhere else and, well, I don't want to redirect there. In this case that I do have it, I want to return a redirect, which then should lead to 
well to this URL, right? So get old URL like this. I could do it like this, but actually I'll make one extra step. I'll extract the old URL here and thereafter I'm going to forget this key like so. And then of course down here I'll just use the old URL variable. With that I'm going to clear that old URL so that upon future sign-in requests I'm not always getting redirected to the checkout page. With that I set up the redirection when signing in. I'm going to copy this code and of course I want to do the same thing after signing up. So here in the post sign up route I'll copy this code after logging the user in here. I'm also checking if I have the old URL. If I do so, I'll redirect there. And if I don't have it, well, then this code here is skipped. And instead, I'm just redirecting to the user profile like that. And with that, I'm making sure that I got this, well, more convenient sign in process when I need to sign in for checking out. So with that change in place, if I go back to the application, go to my shopping cart and click on checkout, then I get this error because well, if first in the user controller, we need to import the session facade, certainly important. And I need to do the same thing in the authenticate class here. So use session like this. Okay. With that, if I go back, click on checkout again, I'm redirected to the sign in page. And here, if I sign in with my dummy account, click on sign in. Now you see I'm getting to the checkout page. However, one thing you'll notice is if I log out then, I'm going to the sign in page. If I log in again, well, I'm back on a checkout page. And that certainly is not the behavior I want, right? I want to go to the user profile page now because checkout no longer is my old, uh, old URL. So something's going wrong here. And actually, that's really tricky. If we have a look at our code, we do forget the old URL here after logging in. And that works, I can tell you that. So somehow it seems to get set again at some other place. But the only place where I do set it is here in my authenticate middleware here, right? So it looks like we're getting to this middleware again. And we actually do in the user controller. If I log out, I'm redirecting back. Now, what does back mean? Well, if I log out here whilst on the checkout page, well, then back means back to the checkout. And the reason why I see the sign in page is just because the checkout page is protected. So here, instead of redirecting back, which would lead to old URL being set again, I could simply redirect to, let's say, user.signin directly. Doing it this way, if I sign in again, you see, that's the bug I was talking about. But if I now hit log out, I'm taken to the sign in form. And if I now log in again, we're at the user profile. So now this bug is fixed. So that's definitely an important one to keep in mind, since this is really tricky to find. And it well kind of destroys our whole workflow we set up there. With that well out of the way, I can go back to, let's say logging out here. Then I can go back to the shopping cart and let's say I want to create a new user. So I'm quickly doing this with some dummy data here and I'm going to the checkout page as well. With that, I'm then able to actually do the checkout. I'll use this dummy credit card number again, some date in the future, some dummy CVC code here. Don't save this. Purchase was successful. And if we have a look at the database, the order is table, we get a new order now related to user three, which makes sense because that is the user I just created with this test free email address here. And yeah, so all the orders are stored here. That's great. The very last thing is I want to do is I want to take my user profile here and list all the orders of a user. So I'll be back with that.